Back here at Cadet Soccer Stadium, the playing of the third verse in much respect, Jeff Bennett, between these two teams. As hard of a fought game as you're going to see, as well played game as you're going to see, 2-1 Washington prevails. But this was a great college soccer game here tonight. It was, and, and I know everyone couldn't see it. They don't have the luxury of just looking at the press box like we do, but I point out to you, the moment that whistle blew, both teams were bent over, they were spent. Both teams put everything they had into that match. It, it was fun to watch. Well, all kinds of highlights as we look at the final numbers in this one. Washington, they just made one more play tonight. They made one more play, and, and you expected the stat line to look like that with, with how we knew we were going to come out and defend. But I do like the fact that we had seven shots, and five of those were on target. Corners are almost even. Uh, we learned a lot about our, our freshman goalkeeper, Smith, in there tonight. It's another building block. I said it earlier. They don't want any more moral victories. They want victories, but they're close. Well, let's see how this one played out here tonight. Let's go to the first half. A corner kick with 3.18 to go and an own goal. Tough break for the Falcons down 1-0 at the half, but they would bow their neck, and this is a team that would not give in whatsoever. But 1-0, you say, okay, that's a tough hill to climb. How about a 2 to nothing deficit? Just a beautiful feed as they work it on the backside to Zach Ramsey. Yeah, good early service. We talked about that uh, at the beginning of the second half if that was a tactical shift. But, you know, you go down 2-0. But look, all of a sudden, we have a little attack. Rizzo has a great little ball to Zah, and he deserves to celebrate any way he wants. See, that, that, that young man played with a lot of energy tonight. Logan Zah made the play, made it 2-1 to one with 26-20 to go. And Air Force, some chances at the end. This probably their last best chance, but they could not punch it into the back of the net. But if you're head coach Kevin Doyle, forget about the record right now. You're 0-3. You played well against SMU, maybe not as well as you wanted to against Army, but he's got to feel good about where his team's at. And more importantly, just their psyche after playing a team like Washington the way they did tonight. Well, when you look at the first three games, two top 25 teams. I know UW's not in the poll. They will be. So you have two top 25 teams and your biggest emotional game you're going to have all year. That's a hard way to start. It, it's going to test you uh, emotionally. It's going to test you mentally. But now they go on the road. And sometimes you can find a lot of things on the road. You get away from class. You get away from campus. You can just be your group. And the road can be your friend. And so now they go, they go out to Michigan. Don't get me wrong, two really hard games, but can they find something while we're th while they're out there? And I think they will. Well, we'll see how it plays out, but Air Force certainly nothing to hang their heads about tonight. They didn't get the win, but this is a team that played so well tonight. So for my partner, Jeff Bennett, this is Josh Howe saying so long from Cadet Sa Soccer Stadium at the United States Air Force Academy. The final score, Washington 2, Air Force 1. All games airing on the ESPN networks are streaming live and archived on the ESPN app. This has been a presentation of ESPN.